All right, you guys, so today is summer keto cocktail time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. All right, first and foremost, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I wanna say thank you so very much. If you are not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any videos. All right, so for those of you that watched me for a while, I recently just started doing these summer keto cocktails. Um, and my favorite drink is Prosecco. However, today we are doing a favorite drink prior to my trying to do keto, which is a mojito. Love a mojito. So we are going to do a keto friendly uh, mojito and we are going to just add my twist to it. So the first thing we need is a simple syrup. That would be where all your sugar is. We can't have that. The first thing is that um, Truvia makes every kind of sugar you could want. Powdered sugar, granulated sugar, and um, so this is a granulated sugar. It's made with monk fruit, so it's very, very, very low in um, carbohydrates. So we're going to make some simple syrup. Then I am going to steep the rest of it in mint. So that is a little trick instead of doing all the muddling and all of that, which that's fine. Do your muddling if you so choose, but I am gonna put it in my simple syrup. So let's get started. Normally, and remember this is my take, okay? But normally a mojito is rum, okay? Um, which it will have rum. So I'm using a Bacardi, I'm using a light rum. Um, but one of my favorites is Deep Eddie's. This is now lime, Deep Eddie's Lime Vodka. So we are gonna put a little bit of that in there. One, to just kick it up a notch, make it a little more summery, and it already has lime in it. We need mint. Um, I, got, I have some from my garden, but I need quite a bit, so I actually had to buy a little thing of it. I don't have enough in my garden. I'm gonna use Minute Maid's Zero Sugar. Um, it's one carb for eight ounces, by the way. Uh, a lime, if you so choose. And then you need ice. There you know, for those of you that have watched, or maybe you missed it last week, I showed you um, some of my designer craft ice, if you will. So what I did was loaded up that glitter y'all here my girlfriends and i are going to a beach bash today and this evening and so i took these little limes how cute are they and i did a lot of lime glitter and put a lime in the ice and the lime and the ice is in shape of a lime okay but we're gonna also need a little extra ice so i've got some big cubes and little cubes i'm not quite sure um, yet how I'm gonna play it. Let's go ahead and start with the simple syrup. And simple syrup is just basically equal parts water, equal parts sugar. So I'm gonna do two thirds cup. Thirds cup there. And two thirds cup of water. And literally y'all, it's that simple. So we're gonna do it on low heat, and it's just to the sugar completely disintegrates. I can feel it at the bottom of the pan. So we're gonna give that a few minutes to do its thing. While that's doing its thing, I'm just going to, with my hands, roll and break up the mint. And that's just releasing the essence of the mint. And I'm, oh my gosh, y'all, smells so good. Here's the simple syrup. What I did is put in one of these cute containers. I love it. Put it in the refrigerator for about an hour and uh, to cool it down. Uh, I picked a really cute glass. Um, these ones I found, look how small they are. Um, I love these. These um, I found in an antique store here in um, uh, Connecticut. And it says Maxwell 1914. And I just think they are darling and they're green. And what's great about this cocktail is I'm only gonna need to use a few of the little baby ones. There we go. And then I'm gonna put one at the bottom and one at the top. A typical mojito, mind you the glass is bigger, you would do two ounces. I'm definitely not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is one ounce of the Bacardi. And then I am gonna do half an ounce 
of Deep Eddie's Lime Vodka. I feel like this is gonna be good, you guys, but it could go wrong. Half an ounce. We're gonna need a little bit of simple syrup, so I am gonna use just half an ounce. That's pretty sweet. There we go. I am gonna add a little bit of the lemonade. So again, I'm probably gonna do half an ounce. Mm, a little bit more than that, but you got it. I've got a little leaky seal. I'm typically not gonna use a lime, a faux lime, but this is a good one if you don't have it. But I realized from the party, I have tons of limes. So let's go ahead and squeeze some fresh lime. Uh, hello. I'll put that in there, right? And we're gonna go ahead and squeeze that. Oh, look at that. That is a good lime. Now, add a little ice. And actually, yep, I could have gone with one big one. And we'll do one small one at the top. That makes, uh, there you go. I changed my mind because this is the first time I'm doing this. Now, I'm gonna take a little uh, cocktail skewer here, give it a little stir. Oh, this looks so cute. A little mint on the top. There it is, how adorable, first of all, are these glasses. Here we go. I feel like it needs something. It's, I know what it needs. Hold. One of the reasons that I love Prosecco so much and you see that I do a lot of cocktails with Prosecco is because there's that effervescent, that bubbliness, that summer feel to it. But we're gonna do it. Okay, so that's what I was missing. But here's the thing. I have bubbly water. This is bubbly water with lime. Okay, we're gonna do a little splash just to top it off. Then another little stir. Okay. Let's see if it, let's see if that was what was missing. Exactly. Exactly. I knew it. I knew it. All right. So add a sparkling water. Doesn't have to be the, I just happen to have a lot of bubblies. Um, <laughs> bubblies. Um, but use any sparkling water or perfect. Mmm. And it's a little, oh my gosh, you guys, this is it. So we made a couple changes, right? Fresh, I went with fresh limes because I had it. However, if you don't, I've tasted this one and this would be a good substitute if you wanna keep it in your refrigerator. Some of them are so gross and they taste weird, right? This tastes pretty good. Second thing is that it needed some sparkliness. It needed that refreshing feeling, uh, the bubbly, okay? So cheers, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week, and um, yeah, this is a good one. So no Prosecco, are you proud of me? <laughs> Next week's won't be have Prosecco either. So cheers, have a wonderful week, and uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy videos like this, be sure to hit the like button. And next week, not only are we doing a keto cocktail, we are doing a keto appetizer to go with the keto cocktail. All right, you guys have a wonderful week, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.